What is Loyola Note? Loyola Note is a collaboration and presentation tool that allows you to arrange your thoughts by a touch of a finger. I'm going to explain from the very beginning how to create a new note and how to accomplish a project step by step. So, to create a new note, you just tap on the button and then you type in uh, your note's name. And your name. And we have a new note here. Uh, and that's how the screen, the first screen looks like. But actually, I would like to explain how to accomplish a project uh, by using different cards uh, on some other note that I've created for you before. This is demo one. So, uh, as you can see, I have already some different cards on my storyboard, but not everything is still here. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain like step by step the toolbox that we have here on the left side. So, uh, you can actually take a photo or a video. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to use instead something that I already have on my iPad. I'm going to use this video. I'm going to put it here. But you can also create a text card. And you can also select background color. I'm going to go with the dark blue. Here you can actually type in text. You can actually type in text over every single card you create. You can select color, layout, and size. And that's where it pops out. You can annotate every single card. You can draw on them. It's possible to select style and size and color. Then you can create a drawn card, you can draw a picture. Once again, I'm selecting the style. Okay. You can record a comment. Probably that's how you imagine Ocean, right? If you want to use it, just press use. But the reality is different. I'm going to show you that. Because the ocean actually looks like that. And that's going to be another slide that I'm going to use. Then you can create web card. Just tap to get connected with the internet and uh, draw uh, like drag dra drag any any contents you need. Then create a map card. By tapping, you're going to be uh, taken to Google Maps. But actually, I don't need this card. I don't actually also need the internet card here. I'm just going to use the contents I already have on my storyboard. To connect, just draw lines in between. To throw away something that is not needed, 
You just drag and drop it to the trash bin. To disconnect, just tap. You can rearrange the position. Okay, so we have a, a drawing card here, we have a text card here, then we have a, a picture card. Okay, so that's the question to you. Where are the eyes? What do you think? Where are the eyes? Probably you think that they are here. But you're wrong, because the eyes are here. And you can set the showing time of every single card, add some transition effect, and add some background music. Let's make it a bit shorter. Now we have a preview. If you want to relocate, reorder the cards, it's enough to do a thing like that. Just drag and drop to the position that you want. What else? You can also, as I mentioned before, create a map card. You can crop your video by selecting in and out position. I'm just gonna put the video here. It got connected. Then you can get connected with the internet and use whatever the contents. And it's uh, not only a, a screenshot, it's a it's an active link that takes you back to the internet. Then you can preview everything, all the slideshow, just to speed up a bit. Okay, so I have my project, but I'm really not sure whether it's good enough or not. And I'd like to get some feedback from, for instance, my like friends or fellow students. So, what can I do? I can create a tunnel. A tunnel is a thing that allows you to share any contents. It might be one card or like many cards with fellow iPad users connected to the same Wi-Fi, the same uh, LAN. So, I create you know, a new tunnel, I pick it, the icon, call it Share, I select this iPad user, and the invitation to the tunnel comes. I accept the invitation. And the tunnel appears on the booth iPads and here you see this uh, like small uh, like um, blue blue bluish bluish thing and it says one it means that there's only like besides me the person who, who who has created the tunnel there's only one person connected to the tunnel okay so I send the content to the so to my friend and the person can write me back some feedback choosing for instance different background color so it would be explicit that it comes from another person and actually here just on the like above just on the top of like just above the card it's it says Eugene which is the name of of, of the user of the for this second iPad so you can always know who has created the the card that you're looking at so if I want to use Eugene's feedback, I'm just gonna, for instance, use it like that. If I don't need it, I just can throw it away. 
tap to fold cards within one slideshow. This way you can create some additional space on your storyboard. Then finally, you can save the thing, you can save your slideshow by pressing export. Here we have a choice, you can either save your slideshow, your project as a video file or send it via email. Uh, we are going to save it as a video file and it's going to be exported to Camera Roll.